Let's talk about CIA assets, Mossad shills, people who work for the CIA in the Mossad. That's what we're going to be going over today. Some of the people out there who you cannot, they cannot be trusted. Specifically, we'll be talking about H.A. Goodman. Now this guy's a freak. He is a real weirdo. But that don't mean nothing to me. What matters to me is when you're spreading lies and propaganda. When the Mossad and the CIA pay you to spread these lies and propaganda, that's what bothers me. And we're not going to let it slide. I have to expose these people whenever I see them. Now, I've been kind of keeping an eye on H.A. Goodman for a while. It was obvious to me. As soon as I watched him, I knew. He was a CIA asset. He worked for he works for the Mossad. He's a dual citizen. For God's sake, anytime I hear people lying, destroying our country, it always leads back to dual citizens. We've talked about that what a million times. But this H. A. Goodman, what he's done lately in the last month is just overboard. It's so obvious that he works. For the government. And it does not surprise me one bit that the government would hire weirdos like this. And then, what if you do, if you are so unlucky to actually click onto one of his videos, you're going to find him so annoying, so uppity, he tells you right off the bat, I am H.A. Goodman. I am an author, a columnist, and a journalist. You can see me on CNN, and you can read my stuff all over the world wide web, and you can blah, blah, and I guess very obvious that he thinks highly of himself. And I guess that's a character trait of all the hipsters I run into. When I run into these young hipsters, they think they know everything. And they're so uppity. But... We're, anyhow, we're talking about H.J. Goodman and his lies where he says Julian Assange is alive and well. I know for a fact that he's spreading this lie because the CIA and the Mossad ordered him to. Now, this video was just recently here. Yes, on uh, November 20th, he put this video out. Now, we know these videos are directed towards the hipsters. Let's listen to him as he talks to his hipster friends. I'm going to talk about a couple of things right now, but first off, Julian Assange is alive and well. Now, I don't know this personally. Of course not. Yes, he doesn't know this personally, but he's going to go on record and tell all his hipster friends that, yes, Julian Assange is alive and well. Now, why would the CIA and the Mossad go to this much trouble? Why would they pay a knucklehead like H.A. Goodman to go on record on the internet, and lie to all the hipsters. Because the CIA and the Mossad know how important Julian Assange is to these young hipsters, these young 20-year-old kids. They look up to Julian Assange. So, of course, you need some disinformation out there. Now, this is not the first time that H.A. Goodman has came out and said that Julian Assange is safe. About a month ago, when Julian Assange first went missing, you see, we're going to get into that because nobody has really been talking about it for a month except for the only person I know who's been talking about it is Montegraff. We'll get to him later. But for like a month, nobody has noticed that Julian Assange is missing. And then you got a knucklehead like H.A. Goodman who comes out and tells everybody, oh, he's safe. It's, it's a joke. It's obvious that H.A. Goodman is a shill. I'm not the only one who knows that. that. As you can see here, there are some other people who have uh, written about it. That H.A. H. Goodman is extremely and painfully wrong again and again and again. I'm not really sure that Goodman is just wrong. I believe he's just out and out lying. I believe he's paid to lie. So... And you can look at, when you watch this guy, like I said, he is one weird person. So we're, this video, we're going to try to expose him. But let's get back to Montegraff, because it was Montegraff who fir first came out and said, hey, Julian Assange has been snatched. Now, what, this was over two months ago that Montegraff said this. 
And over the last month, where it's been painfully obvious that Julian Assange has been, no, has been nowhere to be found in the last month, nobody's talked about it but Montegraff. And I did, I did make a, a video about a month ago. I made a couple of videos because I was, uh, I was agreeing with Montegraff. And I, and I thought it was painfully obvious, too, that he was missing. He's just not out there. And I did not think it was a coincidence that he turned up missing right before the election. That was not a coincidence. We're going to go into that first. Let's go into that some more. And this might be the most important part of the whole story. You see, if Julian, Julian Assange was snatched right before the election, it's because the Mossad wanted to hide something that Julian Assange had and was probably going to release right before the election. It's even coming out now. If you re The FBI has just released the 302 on UMA, where UMA Abedin says that every time that Hillary Clinton changed her email, that she had to notify the White House. You see, the FBI has the evidence. UMA Abedin has spilled the beans that Obama knew about the illegal email, the private server that Hillary Clinton had so she could hide everything from the American people and she didn't have to abide by the Freedom of Information Act. Obama knew all about it when Obama claimed months ago, that he didn't know anything about it. Obama claimed that he learned about it in a newspaper like everybody else, out and out live. You see, Julian Assange was going to expose not only Hillary Clinton, Julian Assange was going to expose Obama because Obama knew all about it. That means that not only is Hillary Clinton guilty of treason, that means that her co-conspirator, Obama, is guilty too. Now the Mossad has to protect both of these assets with everything they have. Make no mistake about it, Obama and Hillary Clinton is a Mossad asset. Now if Julian Assange was going to expose these two traitors, for the treasonous bastards that they are, well, then the Mossad stepped in. The Mossad, the Mossad, probably even, who knows, maybe even the CIA helped them, went in there and snatched Julian Assange over a month ago, and nobody has noticed but Montegraff. And, of course, I'm making this video today because finally somebody has woke up. Finally, we talk about Alex Jones all the time. Alex Jones has done some good work. I have admitted that. But Alex Jones dropped the ball on this too. I mean, Alex Jones got over a million subscribers. It's his responsibility to come keep up to date with, these, with this information. So here, let's listen to Alex Jones as he admits that he dropped the ball here. So I will give Alex Jones a little credit here. Alex Jones is admitting that he was wrong and he dropped the ball and it in and there was many people who was telling him. Probably the same people who listened to Montegraff were probably the same people who were telling old pumpkinhead, knucklehead Alex Jones, hey, Julian Assange is missing. Why aren't, why aren't you talking about it? Well, I guess it's better late than never. Here's Alex Jones apologizing because he dropped the ball. And for the last month, he never said a word about the CIA and the Mossad, the Mossad snatching Julian Assange. Myself right now, I hardly ever drop the ball, and I drop the ball. I just expected Assange to be there forever, just like I expect I'll be here forever, or a free open internet. I am so pissed, I apologize to you. And I want to thank the listeners for staying on my ass for weeks. I'm like, what? Well, I do admit, it takes a big man to accept responsibility. You know, when you've dropped the ball, when you've you've been wrong on something, and to admit that you're wrong, and to apologize to his fans... I respect Alex Jones for coming out and doing that. But one thing that does kind of trouble me is why does Alex Jones not give people like Montegraff and Pete Santilli, people out there, these are patriots. These are people who are part of the resistance. 
It's obvious that Montegraff has done some very good work. Pete Santilli, in sitting in jail today, he's how much has Pete Santilli suffered? How much has Pete Santilli sacrificed compared to somebody like Alex Jones? And I would hope and I would think that maybe Alex Jones, who has all those millions of subscribers, I would hope that somebody like Alex Jones would give more credence, more respect to people like Monograph and Pete Santilli, who are out there fighting the, the hard resistance, fighting the fight. And if we're all going to be a team together, then I think it is the responsibility to guys like Alex Jones who are at the forefront, who have the big numbers. It's, it's part of his responsibility to lift up people like Monograph and Pete Santilli and give them a little hope and give them a little support. But that's where I guess I have a little problem with Alex Jones because of his A personality and he's always competing. And he's, got, he's got to be number one and he's got to be number one and he forgets that there are people like Monograph and Pete Santilli and the list goes on and on who deserve a little support. And wouldn't it be nice if the big guys like Alex Jones, it'd be nice if the big guys gave them support once in a while. Well, who knows? Maybe Alex Jones will wake up one day and say, hey, we're all one big team. And Monograph was correct on this one. We cannot forget that. When a guy does good work, like Monograph, and he, and he points this out, we've got, to, we've got to show them a little bit of recognition. So I'm hoping that Alex Jones will do that. You know, you know that Alex Jones is going to be talking about this for the next few days, for a week. Alex Jones claims that he's going to put the pressure on. He's going to find out what happened to Julian Assange. Well, maybe, you know, if Alex Jones is a, a good man, he'll make a note. He'll tell his all his subscribers, yes, it was Monograph who first come up with this. That would be a nice gesture on old Pumpkinhead's part. But let's go into this a little bit more on why the Mossad felt like they had to go in there and snatch Julian Assange. I don't think that Julian Assange is dead. I don't think that the Mossad is that dumb. I don't believe they're that stupid because if they assassinated Julian Assange, that would have been the worst thing that they could have ever done. There are so many young people out there who hold Julian Assange in high regard that if the CIA and the Mossad has taken out Julian Assange, I tell you that would be probably the worst mistake they've ever done. No, I believe they have him locked up in a dark prison somewhere. You know, a so-called black site. Now, Sooner or later, the heat's going to get too hot for the government. And the government's going to have to admit that Julian Assange is missing. And yes, we snatched him. And they'll probably come up with some kangaroo court. They'll try, probably try to try him, you know, put him on trial with some trumped up charges. And it'll be a joke. And of course, let's go back to the old hipster knucklehead himself, H.J. Goodman. You see, it was this guy's responsibility to stall everybody. You see, this is a perfect example of how the CIA and the Mossad and the intelligence communities, how they have a network, which includes CNN, Fox, Huffington News, and, um, and even, this, even this knucklehead here, H.A. Goodman. He puts out two little videos saying Julian Assange is alive and well when it was obvious to everybody that, he, that Julian Assange was missing. This knucklehead actually has 68,000 hipsters who follow him. And look at all the thumbs up there. That's why we have to expose these guys. I mean, he's, he's out there lying to people. And if we just let it go, if I just ignore him, then that would be wrong. It is my job. I, th I feel like it's my responsibility that I have to expose these shills these Mossad assets. It's a shame that this guy has only been doing videos for like a year. It's a shame that YouTube actually promotes this guy. I want, I want to leave you with this. You see, if you're one of those people, if you're a dual citizen, and, and remember, Huffington Post is one of them. Ron Paul exposed all the fake 
uh, news networks, and Huffington Post was one of the news networks that Ron Paul exposed as fake. So H.A. Goodman is a dual citizen, and within one year, YouTube has promoted his videos so hard, and they do it because he's one of them, he's a dual citizen, that this guy actually has 68,000 followers, and this guy is the most arrogant, uppity hipster you ever want to listen to. I mean, the guy literally want, makes you want to throw up. That's how bad this guy is, and that tells you the power of YouTube, the power of their network. They actually have the power to get a guy who is this dumb, this big of a liar. H.A. Goodman, within one year, YouTube has promoted him up to 68,000 followers, so you know the game is rigged. I just need, I need to tell you that. The game is rigged, not only with mainstream media, YouTube. Yes, YouTube puts certain people out there and they promote them. And it's not a coincidence that most of them are dual citizens. So I just want to expose H.A. Goodman. Because this lie here is beyond bad. He went overboard with this lie. And I hope this is the lie that brings H.J. Goodman down. I hope all his followers just drop him. Because, you know, if you're going to lie to people, why would they listen to you? Why would you listen to a guy like H.J. Goodman if he's going to lie to you? And say that Julian Assange is fine. Well, I mean, come on. And then all of a sudden now, it's obvious, painfully obvious to everybody, even old Alex Jones. Alex Jones has now figured it out. So that's my two cents on the subject. Uh, I'm not going to let these people slide. When I see these assets, these shills who work for the Mossad, I'm not going to let them go. I, I have to expose them. So that's, that's basically what this video is about. I just want to expose H.A. Goodman because he's pathetic. I'm going to talk about a couple of things right now, but first off, Julian Assange is alive and well. Now, I don't know this person myself right now. I hardly ever drop the ball, and I drop the ball. I just expected Assange to be there forever, just like I expect I'll be here forever, or a free open internet. I am so pissed, and I apologize to you.